In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about more details regarding the nightclub business and sort of following up to the video I did yesterday, which talked about really the ultimate guide on how to get started and making money. Today, we're gonna to be diving into some of the more specific things that you guys had questions about that I saw in the comment section and also new information that has been revealed as well. All right, so let's start with something important and something that can happen to you in the nightclub business, and that is raids. So raids are not very fun. They happen to your bunker business and your biker business, and now they can happen to your nightclub business. Essentially, if you've never had a raid happen to you, it's like a free mode NPC event where you essentially have to go to your business to save it. Otherwise, you lose all your product, the business gets shut down, it's really bad. So a raid will occur on a nightclub if you have four hours of inactivity. Now, inactivity means playing free mode without any mission related activity. And you're exposed to a raid if you have over 20% of your total stock. However, this can be alleviated a little bit if you purchase the security upgrade. Now it will not happen with eight hours of inactivity and you won't be exposed to it until you have 40% of your total stock. So I know the security upgrade is one that you might wanna skip over. You think, ah, oh, that's not that important. It is. It allows you to really never have to worry about raids because you will go eight hours with doing something. You're not going to have eight hours of not doing, you know, a popularity mission booster or a sourcing mission or a selling mission. Uh, it's just not going to happen. So get the security upgrade. It is a great way to combat raids for your nightclub business. We talked a little bit about this yesterday, but AFK methods still work. There's three really popular ones that you can do. And some of them will actually stop all daily fees and population from going down. So you can simply watch a DJ live stream from your nightclub on your primary computer, which is beside Tony's, and this will allow your stock to still accrue. Um, you can watch nightclub security cameras, which will allow your stock to still go up. And you can watch TV while on a mission, like cleaning the cat house. Now, if you're on a mission, this will stop all daily fees, and it will also stop your population from going down as well, which is something you can keep up while you're still gathering goods. So that's really cool right there. A lot of the AFK methods that were really popular still work. Let's talk about storage space a little bit. So this is something that a lot of people seem to be confused on, like how many spaces they need, how many floors they need. Well, each floor of storage can actually hold up to 72 pieces of goods. So for example, on one floor, you could have 10 cargo and shipments, two South American imports, 16 organic produce, eight cash creation, 20 sporting goods, four pharmaceutical research, and 12 printing and copying. So each floor will give you 72 pieces. And since there's five total floors, that means your total for every single floor is 360. And this will be shown on your main home screen of your sort of nightclub computer, where it'll say like three of 360 or 20 of 360 or whatever the case is. So, but just know that each floor holds 72 goods. The next thing we need to talk about are the sale vehicles. So as you guys have noticed by now, when you do a sale out of the nightclub, you don't get to choose your own custom vehicle. You have to use the ones that the nightclub gives to you. Now there's three vehicles that they give to you. The Speedo Custom, which they give to you for free, the Mule Custom and the Pounder Custom, which you can buy. Now you might be wondering, how does the game choose which one to give you? Well, it all depends on how many items you're selling. And all of these are going to be one vehicle, by the way. So a lot of the other businesses, like the bunker and the biker stuff, will give you two, three, sometimes four vehicles, depending on how much you have. This is always going to be done with one vehicle. So if you're selling under 90 items, you're gonna be getting the Speedo Custom. If you're selling between 90 and 180 items, you're gonna be getting the Mule Custom. And if you're selling over 180 items, so 180 to 360, you're gonna be getting the MTL Pounder Custom. So the vehicle you get all depends on the amount you're selling. So I'm assuming a lot of you guys right now have only done the Speedo Custom and you're wondering why. Well, it takes a long time to get over 90 items and until you do, you're gonna be stuck using the uh, Speedo Custom, then the Mule, then the Pounder. 
Now, in case you guys are wondering how well protected these new vehicles are, it's actually a little bit misleading because if you take them out in free mode, they're destroyed with one rocket or RPG, just like any other car. But during the missions, they actually take about eight rockets to destroy. So they are very durable, which is quite nice. It seems that Rockstar are consolidating everything into one vehicle, but because they're doing that, they're giving you a lot more protection, which I obviously think is great news, especially considering there's so much that can destroy these vehicles in free mode now. Uh, it's nice that they get a little bit of protection. All right, moving on, let's talk about fees that you actually get for the technicians and the floors that you add. So you guys might not know, but you get charged more fees the more workers you add and the more storage floors you add as well. So 300 is the standard fee for workers, and it's $100 for each worker, including the first one, for a grand total of 800. Now, as far as the storage floors go, 500 is the standard fee, with $50 being uh, for each new floor, although the first storage floor is free. So 50 for each new garage. However, the last one is the fifth garage floor, which is hidden for now. If you guys missed my video earlier in the day, you know that the terabyte is gonna be stored on that floor. And then at 250 for the equipment update for a grand total of $1,200. So if you have the full amount of workers and the full amount of garages, your total is going to be $2,000 in terms of daily fees just for the technicians and just for the storage floors. So it really does put into perspective really what the like safe money is useful for and that is just getting rid of those daily fees because i mean ten thousand dollars per day really can't get you anything so that's essentially all i'm using the safe money for is just to get rid of these daily fees because it really does start to add up earlier in the video we talked about the security upgrade now let's talk about the equipment upgrade why is something like this valuable now, it is expensive at the start, but if this is something you can afford, it is well worth it. The equipment upgrade reduces the accrue time by 50%. That is crazy. I mean, 50% is a ton. So take a look at this right here. These are all the goods. South American imports, cargo and shipments, pharmaceutical, sporting goods, cash creation, organic produce, printing and copying. Basically, coke, cargo, meth, bunker supplies, cash, weed, and document forgery. You guys can see that the values stay the same. Cocaine is worth the most at 20,000. Cargo, second most, 10,000. Methamphetamines, 8,500. Bunker, 5,000. Cash, 3,500. Weed, 1,500. And the printing and copying document forgery stuff, 1,000. So you guys can see the accrue times with the upgrades and without. Without to get a full thing of Coke it is 240 minutes to get a full thing of cargo, 140 minutes, meth 120, bunker 80, cash is an hour, weed is 40 minutes, and document forgery is half an hour. Look at the difference with the equipment upgrade. It is massive. With the equipment upgrade, it's two hours for uh, coke, 70 minutes for cargo, an hour for meth, 40 minutes for the bunker, half an hour for the cash, 20 minutes for weed, and 15 minutes for document forgery. Get the equipment upgrade, it is worth it. Now, as you guys know, you can have a maximum of five technicians, one technician per type of goods. So the maximum you can make in an hour while having the most profitable business is just over $41,000 per hour. So in a perfect world, if you were to have the most profitable business and we multiplied that by 24, you would make just under $1 million, $997,000. But once again, that is if you are doing things uh, in a perfect world for 24 hours a day. I know not everyone is going to be doing that, but that just shows you the amount of money you can make with the nightclub per day. It really is insane. And building off of that, the final thing we're gonna be talking about in this video today, you guys know you can sell your goods in three different ways. You can sell all of them of a single type, like sporting goods, no matter how much you have. You can sell all your accrued goods, or you can do these special orders, which is really similar to the stuff we saw in the hangar business and sort of the import-export stuff with the special thing of cars. You can sell a combination of three different goods. Now, a lot of people have been wondering, what's the bonus for doing something like this? It seems to be giving around a 5% boost. 
compared to individual goods or all goods. So I think this is something that you can try, but at the end of the day, 5% is really not a lot of money. That wouldn't even cover the fee that Tony would take from you at the end of each sale, which we know, of course, is 10%. So I think because we know that, it really isn't all that worth it to do the special orders. I would just do things individually or sell them all as accrued goods. But anyways, that right there is more information on what you need to know regarding the nightclub business and how it works, how it's run, some tips and tricks, some things you might not have known, and a whole lot more. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you guys think of the nightclub business so far? Do you think it is worth it? Do you think that it is the best business? Are you having fun with it? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.